And where would you possibly see this? Well, let's start at the grocery store. If you were to take a look at a pineapple, well, sort of an attractive pineapple, it's actually nice and ripe, it smells good, we'll probably be enjoying this in a little bit. But if you look closely at a pineapple, you actually see there's, there's lots of structure here. And very close inspection, if you look at things really, really carefully, you'll see that on the face of the pineapple, we actually see spirals. And these spirals appear, you can see them. One sort of starts right here and goes up to here. There's another one that goes right underneath it, another one underneath it. And we see these spirals beginning to emerge. Well, once you see structure, you look closer, you can see even more. In this case, if you look really closely, you'll see that, in fact, there are spirals even going the other direction. So we have these clockwise spirals that seem to also run in parallel. And then these spirals and these spirals mesh together to make the beautiful facade of the pineapple. Well, as Mike was advertising in the previous lectures, when we have quantities so often in life, it's great just to count them. So in fact, let's actually count the spirals and see how many we have. So this is like one of those cooking shows where I've actually done it in advance. So, so here's the pineapple. And if we want to count the spirals, one way to count them is to mark them. And so here you can see this has already been marked. And you can see the spirals are very clearly marked in, in red, except for this one here. This is in gold. And you may say, gee, Ed, you know, did you run out of the red? The truth is I did this on purpose. And you can probably guess why. So that way I know where I start. One time I was counting spirals and I was doing it for days before I realized that I've already. So we'll start on the, on the gold and we'll just count the, the number of spirals. So here we go. So starting on the gold, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I've returned back. So I have eight spirals going this way. Okay, now let's count how many spirals we have the other way. So let's take a look at that. I've actually worked that out in advance as well. Here we are. Maybe it's the same number, but let's take a look and see and count. So here, I'll start counting here. Again, on the gold, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have eight going in one direction and 13 going in the other. Okay, well that's sort of peculiar. Maybe you would have thought they were the same number of spirals, but somehow maybe a pineapple can tell right-handedness from left-handedness, I don't know.